Hey there, I'm Cheryl Hickey. It is just 48 hours to Mother's Day, so make sure you get her something nice. Now, we don't know what the Property Brothers are getting their mom, Joanne, but they did build a guest house for mom and dad in Las Vegas. And at any rate, we wanted to know more about Drew and Jonathan, so we went to the one person who knows them best, their mom. Our mom means everything to us. Every, everything that we've achieved in life is because of, of her and my dad and everything that he did for us as kids. I always knew that something was going to happen in their adult life, but this was just beyond words. I just couldn't, could not believe it. We all know Drew and Jonathan Scott grew up to be super successful, but what were the Property Brothers like as little boys? Well, we turn to the expert, their mom. I would say that Drew was the tidier and Jonathan was the messier. We're both clean freaks, but I'm a little more of that OCD clean freak, so my mom would say Jonathan was messier. More of a ladies' man. I think they were pretty equal there. Jonathan. Growing up? Yeah, this is. <laughs> I, uh, I started a little late. <laughs> Drew was a late bloomer. I'm probably giving totally different answers to what they gave. If you've ever watched a really awkward Ben Stiller movie, those romantic comedies. Are you going to the prom? I, I don't, yeah, I think. That was Drew. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Drew. Drew, <laughs> 100%. I win this competition. Drew is obsessed with basketball. In high school, there were no girlfriends. I played basketball. Well, that would have to be Jonathan. They're both pretty mischievous. Jonathan. Okay, but in, no, a, in no. a nice way. No, no, he basically <laughs> tormented me through high school. I think he probably is a little bit ahead there. Thank you. <laughs> Do I get a, a star <laughs> or something? <laughs> we love you. Oh, thank you. Uh, you <laughs> oh, you said that before. If you notice, uh, <laughs> she picked me as her favorite son. And for more, don't forget to tune into ET Canada weeknights on Global.